currently here in uh, Philadelphia, southwest Philadelphia. The space that we're looking at, um, this van is blocking our view, but uh, storefront right here, right next to Tax Pros. Uh, you can get about 18 feet of frontage. Uh, tenants are T-Mobile. You got a major uh, Japanese grilled uh, restaurant that kind of laps around. I, I would anticipate it's over 6,000 square feet. Pylon sign. Great pylon sign with visibility, plenty of parking, access point. Uh, one good thing about this location is uh, this is Lindbergh Boulevard. Uh, it's got about uh, a good 20, no, actually about, yeah, about 32,000 uh, cars that come here on a daily basis. And then on Island Road is about 24K. Um, obviously, you got McDonald's here. So people on Lindbergh, uh, this is the road to and from the airport. It's a service road. Uh, you got 40, almost 41,000 uh, daytime pop within a two-mile radius. I mean, it's amazing numbers here, and all the players are here. So you, again, you have an access point to come in here. Uh, you loop around. There's parking. Uh, I'll show you the perimeter of uh, this area. Uh, the post office has the distribution center for the entire state of PA, or for Philadelphia, actually. Um, and everyone basically you get your mail there and then kind of go in and distribute it from there I'll show you that uh, big amount of employees across the street. You have Burger King uh, McDonald uh, you got uh, Wendy's Burger King obviously you have McDonald's here uh, Subways across the street not sure if you can see them. Uh, we clearly out will out position uh, subway uh, because we're not deep, uh, you can clearly see uh, the vis visibility from the road uh, is, is, is awesome, it's great. Uh, traffic light at uh, Lindbergh Boulevard. Okay, across the street again is Burger King. Uh, Subway's across the street. Uh, next door to Popeyes, you got Wendy's. Dunkin' Donuts is here. Again, McDonald's. Uh, this is the the Linden Boulevard. As soon as you hop over, uh, again, this is a service road. You got the airport. So you got all the car rental folks that are back there. There's, there's uh, industrial. Everyone has to come here and through here in order to get food. Okay. And again, it's about uh, a little before one o'clock on Wednesday. And we got T-Mobile, Tax Pro, us right next door to that. Uh, the Japanese restaurant. You got Rite Aid across the street, Dunkin' Donuts. Again, the post office distribution, major distribution centers across this, uh, behind this plaza, which I'll show you. And you can see where the traffic just kind of dumps right here on this intersection. So. Uh, in terms, again, of visibility, uh, you can just see us. We're just smack center there with great visibility from the road. Uh, so let me go and uh, kind of show you the market. Show you the post office. And again, this is our space here. Uh, it's got drop ceiling, walls, uh, Sprinkler system, HVAC, bathroom, should, construction shouldn't be uh, be a big cost at all. And again, you have a pylon sign on, on both sides facing uh, Lindbergh Boulevard and Island Avenue. Clearly great visibility, good access point. Uh, we out position subway. They're deep into the other center across the street, which I'll show you. And uh, like I said, traffic just drops here. This is where everyone comes to eat food. That's why all the quick service restaurants are here. So let me get in and show you where the post office is located. I'm gonna give you a little general idea of the market. D's, T-Mobile, Tax Pros, us, Japanese restaurant, and this is, this is our whole space right here. So, literally, 
Oops, oh, can you hold on right here so I can kind of actually go further back or a little further right here. Right here is literally the distribution center for the post office. Um, we're getting the number of the employees. 5,000. Is it 5,000? It's 5,000 employees literally smack center behind this plaza. Huge. And then when you loop here to the left, you got uh, Dunkin' Donuts. You got a dialysis center. Bottom dollar foods. You got Rite Aid, grocer, bottom dollar grocer that's going in there now that's under construction. And again, major, major facility for the post office distribution center. Um, 5,000 employees, we just, just confirmed that. And you keep going even further down the road past the post office. It's all industrial, workers. Um, behind all that, you also have on the service road, which we were on in Limburg, um, it's the access point for people to get to and from the airport. You have all the car rental agencies, all the employees, here's the post office. I mean, this thing is huge. So again, within a two mile radius, you're looking at about 41,000 employees in this area. And then it's kind of mixed. You got some uh, residential here, houses. Here's another food and equipment supplier. At that light, let's just turn around. Okay, you won't. Yeah, because I want to show okay. Subway and show them the other angle. going to loop around and again just kind of show you this is another these are all if you, if you keep driving it's all warehouse distribution centers for various companies it just keeps going back I mean by flip blocks and blocks and blocks uh, which is one of the reasons why we're pulling such a huge daytime pop um, so all these people have to come to our direction or in, in order to eat lunch we're going to go back, show you the, uh, the center again, show you Subway. And again, this distribution centers after distribution centers. And, and it's mixed in with residential. So then over here you got the residential, you got all the warehouse on the left. Everyone comes from, you know, the warehouse, distribution centers, you know, that industrial park area. They're going to come over here and they're going to make their choices. Here's, uh, again, the Duncan analysis right aids, the grocer. Here's our pylon. I mean, you'll, you'll see us on this angle. I'm going to take a left on this major intersection between Limburg and Island Ave. 
Lindbergh has about uh, 32,000 cars. Island has about 24,000. So this is the uh, other shopping center, um, obviously with our competitor subway that's in the market. You can just go further down, just want to show them. So you got like the Avenue Radio Shack, there's subway over there with Popeyes. And you can see from the road how deep they are, and you got Wendy's that block their visibility. And you have Taco Bell. Shop right. I'm gonna pull a transaction count to see how they're doing, but you know, it seems kind of quiet over there. Again, they're deep back in the shopping center, which is good for us. There's Taco Bell, you have Pizza Hut, you have Kmart, but it's kind of a quiet center. The action is where we're at, right at that traffic light. Can we go back so I can show them a, another view coming from this road? show the visibility from our location so again all the players are here you got Pizza Hut Taco Bell Wendy's McDonald's Subway Popeye's Chicken Dunkin um, and again you can see why because it's about you know that the, the daytime pop is, is huge here you already know that the distribution center for the post office is here Go back at the light, and then I want to show them a shot from the traffic light coming this way. Okay. Get way out front here. You like that? Just to see yeah, I guess I can do that. I'll get out of the car and just. Here's our piece. Get out of the car. Here's our piece. You know, again, in terms of visibility, you can see you see the cars going back and forth. So first thing you see is Quiznos. We're gonna be on that pylon sign. Uh, McDonald's right next door to us. Great access. You come back here. You know, you're driving on this road and. Look what you have. You're just blocking subway. You can't see them. You got Burger King that blocks your visibility. Um, you know, you just you just have cars that literally dump at that traffic light. And you can go on Limburg and access our shopping center, or you can be here on Island Road and have great access where that car just pulled in to go to McDonald's. So e easy access in and out. And subway doesn't have that. So certainly a good piece of real estate and a great opportunity to outposition uh, the competition so this is the market again give you another rundown uh, nice strip here with great visibility right you got T-Mobile tax pros a Japanese restaurant uh, we're right next door to McDonald's right behind our shopping center which I showed you uh, you saw that massive distribution center that has over 5,000 employees. Uh, we have great uh, signage, pylon on both directions from uh, Limburg Road and Island Ave. A lot of traffic on this road. Uh, 32 on one, about 24 on the other. You have Taco Bell, Wendy's, Pizza Hut. Everyone's in the market, and we clearly outposition Subway. You can't see them from the road. So this is Philly, Southwest Philadelphia, Wednesday afternoon, and we're going to pull a transaction count to see how Subway's doing, which I venture to guess are not doing well, being that you can't see them from the road.